Good morning. Good morning. Let me get you some cereal. Can you just fill that? Yes. Is it time for cereal? Oh, oh, the big man's got it. Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in growing zone 6B in New England. I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you from the last week and a half up until today. And I just wanted to real quick show you what's going on in the garden because she is lush. She is lush. These bean trellises are stealing my heart. Look at how full they are. Pause a moment for the borage, which I will never ever have to plant again. Look at all of these beautiful purple flowers and even some tiny, tiny beans. So I am absolutely thrilled about these trellises. This was my big goal for this year, was to get some covered trellises. The rest of this, though, really needs to be weeded. Mercy. I brought in a new trellis to climb some of these cucumbers up. We're starting to pick those now. Hello, hops reaching for the sky. Been gathering up nasturtium seeds and hopefully we'll have enough to pickle. Look at this toothache plant. Isn't she beautiful? And then it's tomatoes. Took out the peas yesterday so the tomatoes can grow up big and tall. Spoon tomatoes have been ripening up first, of course, because they're tiny. And the tomatillos are coming in. So the eggplant is doing great too. I've even seen Eggplants starting to develop. I feel like I'm doing a poor job of conveying just how beautiful this bronze fennel is. Tobacco is happening. Look at these pretty flowers. These pretty flowers. And it looks like we've got some leaves on the bottom here that are just about ready to harvest. They're a very pale green almost yellow and uh, yeah so a thinning really made a difference here these are the other ones we got yellow blooms on them come on y'all let's make this chipmunk internet famous we're over here on the side of the house now which is where I'm pretty sure I'm gonna plant my tomatoes next year We've had a lot of rain over the last couple of days, but it feels like it gets distributed unevenly. I'm gonna have to come out and water these raised beds. All my basils, so much basil. Um, I've been bringing that in and making pesto and tea and it's all kinds of great stuff. We've got pumpkins. These are those sugar pie pumpkins. Got at least two of them coming in. Sunny's getting ready to open up. Our okra is coming along just fine. I'll have to come out in a couple of hours and do some harvesting. Oh. 
So this is the current state of affairs on the barley. All the black hulled barley is hanging up and drying in the house. My barley has fallen down. I planted on this side the black hullless barley and on the left here the purple karma barley is just starting to turn purple. It's still pretty much standing up. It's gonna be a little while longer. Here's the black hullless and this is ripe. I watched it color up over the course of like 48 hours. It's just so beautiful as it happened. A lot of this is just about dried out, um, but we are expecting a heavy rain tonight. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut this stuff down now and bring it in the house and hang it up to dry. We were just waiting on the Purple Karma barley and check it out. We're ready. It's turned purple close to the source. I'm gonna cut this down and add it to the drying rack inside. And all I'm doing is just cutting it down low and I'll sort through it afterwards. That's what we look like now. I'm gonna let these nasturtiums take over and then see about maybe putting some stuff in here for the rest of the season, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I was gonna film some more over there with the okra, but the phone overheated. And so we're on the porch now. Um, and I have brought my barley and the heads are dry, right? But the stalks are not completely dry. And I would like the entire plant to be dry before I start threshing and winnowing. Um, if I can get them to just dry out inside the house where it's nice and cool, they can take their time doing it. Um, then when it's cooler out, we can go then and take care of it. I'm just gonna go through one at a time and pull these, get all that extra vegetation off of there so that they can dry. So I'm gonna put on some music and hang out and I will see you on the other side. Sweet, we reduced it by about half, I'd say. I've separated everything out um, and kind of sorted them by size. When I brought in the black barley the other day, I just tied a knot um, with some embroidery floss, just regular old embroidery floss, um, tied it real tight and then hung it with a paper clip on the drying rack. So to bundle these, it's really, it's really pretty simple. Even it out as much as you can and get the heads closely aligned in here. They don't have to be very, they don't have to be right on top of each other or anything because we are doing this to bundle them to dry. Um, I do like them roughly even though. Looks prettier. And, and then I've just got some regular old embroidery floss. And I'm just using embroidery floss for a flash of color because I like it. <laughs> There's no particular reason behind this. I have no strong feelings about this. You could tie this up with kitchen twine. It would be just as good. Um, I just like to see the flash of color in my kitchen. So I've tied a slip knot around it. And I'm gonna separate the two strands. Keep one down here. And wrap the other one like two or three times around and then we'll tie it together here. So this is what they came out looking like. These lovely little things. And 
these ones I tried to braid I don't I don't love the way they look as much but they are cute it's little brooms um, and I'm gonna take them inside and hang them up on the drying rack. Come on along. We've got some Tulsi hanging. We've got the black barley that we harvested last week and our garlic has one more week to go. So up on the tippy top, I've got some room for the new barley and I'm gonna put that up just like you're doing Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna thread a paper clip through the back and hang it. Do you want this? Yeah, up as high as you can. Do you want me to do it on the other side? I don't think it makes a difference. This Tulsi is pretty dry. Okay. Yeah, that, that Tulsi is pretty dry. I'm going to yeah. take that down tomorrow, I think. Okay, okay. If I think of it. Thank you. No problem. Um, all right. Cool. They really like you. They do. Drummer's still a little timid. Well, Piper keeps chasing Drummer away every time Drummer tries to get in my lap. Yeah, Piper's kind of a brat. What's that? Hi, I, I don't have anything that you want, want. I'm trying to figure out my gloves, gloves. The girls have been here for two weeks and today is the day it's Manny Petty Day. I have never done this before, so I'm a little nervous, but I've read a bunch of guides, I've watched a lot of videos, I've bought clippers and gloves, and here we go. They think you've got something real special. I just have the tripod. Okay. Yeah, licking your chops. Do you also like a carrot? There you go. Okay. Oh. Yep. Hey. Hey. All right. Which end of the goat shall we begin with? Right. See how it's yeah. folded over here? Oh, let me get a little closer. Yeah. How it's folded over. See how the hoof has grown over the side here? Actually. Right here, you can see the hoof has folded over. So we're gonna start by getting rid of that. Oop, if she'll let us. Oh, nice, it looks a little uneven, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sweetie. So these are basically garden shears, but no, they're they're hoof. Well, yeah, shears. but they look like they're the same kind of principle. Yeah, they're trimmers. Mm-hmm. Little spring trimmers. Let's see. Nice burp. Okay, let me see. Let me see, sweetie. That's a good girl. Okay. Oh, look, oh, she oh. doesn't like that. Okay. okay. Well. I need the foot out a little bit because I got to get between the two toes there. I may not be going as low as I'm supposed to, but I'm afraid to hurt. That's a learning process. Yeah. I can't tell if it's folded over up here or not. I don't think no, it is. Good. Okay. okay. The okay. drummer is like, what is going on? Hi. It's a good girl. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's one. That's okay. one foot. Okay, I'm going to try and do How the back leg. Hey. Hey. Yeah, get some carrot. Okay. I can't see it. So. Oh, hi, drummy. There you go. Okay. Oh. oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, it's not much worse than the front. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Hi, drummer. Carrots help. I got you. I got you. Oh, 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 you're okay. 
All right, that's half of one goat. Okay, it's half a goat. Half a goat. Okay. You need the other side? Yeah, let's do the other side. You're okay. next. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we can get her. Can you add me some, uh, some carrots? Some carrots, just like two or three. Oh my good girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I would like you to kneel. I would like you to kneel. There you go. Oh, 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 oh okay. Kneel. That's it. Good girl. Give her a kiss. Mm -hmm. I can give you some more. Okay, good girl. Nice. There you go. That was good. I'm gonna go a little, little closer here. Hi. Don't you know it's German? Okay, okay. Oh. We okay? Did something happen or did she just spook? I think she spooked. Okay. I just want to get these parts that are hanging off the side. Yeah. Or hanging over, rather. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Look at that. There we go. Good girl. So okay, I'm not going to try and do the tippy tips because I don't think they need yeah, it yet. No. All right. Oh, a drummer is trying to climb in. Hey. You're next, honey. Okay. I think that is one whole goat. Okay. Just at the inside. Let's see it. There we go. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's one whole goat. It's not perfect, but it's our both of our <laughs> first time. Okay. All right, let her go. Okay. Are there more carrots? I'll touch your feet again. I'm gonna touch your toes. No more carrots. You're next, baby girl. No more carrots. Come on. There you go. There you go. Okay. I think there's. I'm not ready to do the heel, but I think that next month we're gonna have to do the heel. Okay. Right. Oh, watch your That's ears, okay. buddy. Uh, Piper caught her in the butt. Yeah. Okay, okay, easy does. Easy does. Okay, Ooh, that's God. not. Good. That's one quarter of the goat. Ah, uh, see the fold over? Okay. Oh, you got a messy toe going on here, buddy. It's the inside trimmings that make me nervous. Like between their toes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Piper. It's okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's a good girl. She's more curious than anything. I don't want her getting involved with the clippers. Yeah. There we go. She's like, what you doing to my toes? Oh, I'm cleaning them up, baby girl. There we go. Okay. I'm going to have to get a rasp to do the Get insides. a rasp? We have rasps. No, like a, a Like goat a farrier's specific. rasp? Yeah. We have farrier rasp. Oh. Farrier's rasp. Well, you should find that for me later. Okay. All right. We've got three quarters of a goat done. And the I need that back right foot. All right. Sweets. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Hello, toes. Hello, oh, toes. Don't, Piper. Don't, my pretty baby girl. Hi. Hi. Okay. Again, it's imperfect. Oof. 
You're okay. You okay? Was that pinchy? Okay. I'm sorry. It was pinchy. I'm sorry. All right. Aww. There we go. <laughs> Is she dissociating? Yeah, I think she. Oh, I think just it just vibing. doesn't bother her that much. I'll dig my head into Dad's elbow. No one can hide. No one can bother me. You can't keep getting that little oh. bit. Yeah. I think the drummer's falling asleep. <laughs> Paper. Brave girls. Well, my brave girls. She had her nose tucked in my arm, and I think she fell asleep. Oh, oh, no, I she's out just two big oh, buckets of carrots. So let me go get the other bucket. So we are all done with hoof trimmings, and uh, Bill lives here now. I live here now. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them in a dish for them. I can oh just my sprinkle God. them into the food. And then suddenly it's Thursday and you've got purple beans the length of your forearm. I have no idea what kind of beans they are. Yay! Brought these home from the land trust today, the community garden. Whole bunch of beans. Have you ever seen anything like this? These are huge. And some New Zealand spinach, which is lovely and doesn't bolt and it's delicious. So good times. My first hoof trimmings. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling so much better about it. I had read up on this. I had watched a whole bunch of videos. I even went over to my sister-in-law's and I watched a guy do it in person and I was still nervous about it. And it was, honestly, it wasn't nearly as difficult as I imagined it was going to be. I don't know why I thought it would. It probably has to do with Bill and his calming nature with those animals. He is so good with them. Oh my gosh. So that's our week. Thank you so much for hanging out. We will catch you up soon. Take care. Now I'm drummer is eating um, oh, okay. the vlog. <laughs>